Hi, this is Jessica Early. Now I'm going to be showing you how simple and easy it is to start a Django application, as well as how magical it is. Um, and also I'm going to show you um, some code from the Django Girls tutorial of making a blog post as well. So we're going to start off by making a directory. I'm going to call this demo. So let's hop in there. I'm going to create a virtual environment. So let's go into that virtual environment. I'm going to pip install Django. So Django has, um, one of the greatest features is that out of the box it's ready to go. It has over 10 years of coding back um, support and then also a huge community that supports this. So there is a lot of magic if you're, you have not done a Django app before. So now that we have that, we're going to run this command um, Django-admin start project. Oops. Admin start project. And I'm going to call this demo again. So now that we've done that, I'm going to CV into demo. And we can check out to see what Django's already given us. So we have another directory called demo and then a manage.py. I'm going to run that manage.py along with this command run server. And so this command it is doing what you suspect it'll be doing. It's going to be running our server. Um, this red text here talking about the unapplied migration, we don't have to worry about now because we just started this application and we don't have a database that we're, we did not start with a database and we don't have necessarily all the migration to that database happening. So Django's giving us a nice warning. And now we're gonna copy this and let's check to see what we got. Congratulations on your, our first Django powered app. Fantastic. So this was super easy to at least get something started. Um, let's close this out. Let's stop our server and let's take a peek inside again. So now that we've ran that command, um, Django has given us an SQL database. It has connected it. And let me show you what's in that manage.py. So Django is kind of like a container and it has like this higher level um, and it has applications that are within this. So I'm going to refer to this later, but this is where we tell Django, okay, let's start. This is um, similar to if you've used Flask, um, having just Python server.py. So this is where kind of the main hub happens. And let's see, let's go into, oops, let's go into our the directory that it's created for us. And we have some really um, already established fantasticness. So it's um, created in it.py. This is just to set everything up. Let's go into settings so you can see how this looks. So if you're planning on deploying any um, application, you want to make sure that you source your keys and Django um, has really great documentation. So it tells you like, hey, do this thing. This is really important. Um, and do you remember when I was talking about how Django's kind of a, a container has applications. So this is where you would put your application. So as you're developing out your app, you could just keep adding these, these apps or these portions or features to your Django main project. So what's fantastic is that Django comes with an admin. I think just with that, it, oh, so much, it saves so much time. It is such a great um, feature. And then also with things like sessions and messages as well. Um, Django also comes with some templates and some debugging tools and requests. This is where it has connected our database, all for us, and then some password validators, and then other some great, some other great stuff. Um, it gives things already pre-populated, so if you go in and edit things, but if you're not sure what this does, which I don't know, um, it already has assumed something for you, which is really nice. But again, the documentation is great. So you could just go here and um, figure out what the, all these things mean. So let's go back and let's open our URLs. So Django has um, the pattern that it uses to track your URLs. Oh, well, it's a URL patterns and it lists out in regular expression the how you want your URLs to relate to um, to your actual pages. So you could just have it all listed here, and I'll show you in the um, blog posting app how that's formatted. But you could just keep adding to here, 
and you can import functional views, you can have class-based views, and then other URL views as well. So again, as you're building things out, you could just start including this, and each app could be its own little mini container. So if you were ever to do another project and you really liked how you did a part in a different project, you really like how it does a blog post or a store, you could just grab, you kind of encapsulate that part of the app and you could bring it over, which is really cool. So that is kind of the basic um, startup. And again, this is basic, basic, basic. So um, this is the point where you would be developing and adding code to, to your project and making your app amazing. So let's deactivate from here and let's actually go um, to that demo code I was telling you about. Uh, oh, whoa, oops, we're more nested than that. There we go. Cool. So I'm going to source my environment from here. And this has a little bit more code than um, the one I was showing you earlier, simply because, actually, it might be clearer to do this. There we go. So because I've been able to work on the Django Girls tutorial, and I've also sourced my keys and added some, I added a readme and I added some images as well. So if you want something that's a little more developed, um, that's already done, uh, feel free to go and check out this code. But let us go in, I'll show you about the manage.py. I haven't actually changed. This is exactly what Django first gave me. So this is, again, that high level. This is where it's gonna start. I really haven't had to mess with that. And now let us go into the blog posting because I think that's going to be really interesting. Oh, that's, that's embarrassing. I'm into CD. <laughs> okay, so this has this is a little more developed again. And let us go into those URLs that I was telling you about. So this is how you could add more complexity to your app. This is this first one. And of course, this is Python, so it's super explicit. Um, this is to actually show the list of my blog posts. And this is to show um, some detail views, to show a new post, and then to edit a post. This is how it manages all those different types of URLs. And now that I've shown you that, maybe I should go over and actually show you what it looks like, because sometimes that could be very helpful as well. So we're going to run that command, manage.py, oh, Python manage.py run server. And it doesn't have that migration issue anymore because I've connected it, I've done a migrate, and I, my database is running and good. So I, I could just refresh, but just in case. Yeah, so this is my guy. This is my um, my blog post. Um, it's really similar to what the Django Girls had. I just edited it for kind of the flow I wanted, and I wanted different colors and different fonts. And that really cool thing that I was telling you about the admin is this. So this comes already with um, Django, and it's this administrative view. I did not have to really build out too much on this because it comes as a freebie, which is great. So I'm gonna log in. So this is how my um, I can manage as an administrator the my actual application. So I can create groups and users, which right now I don't have any because it's just me. Here's users, and it's just me again. But if I want to add people, I could chain, I could add them from here, I could give them different types of roles as well and different permissions. And then here is my actual blog postings that I have, and I could edit them, I could change when they started. I have really fine granular control of these guys as well. So that's how that looks. And then because I've signed in, I could go back to my main post and I have a view for myself where I could come in here and simply add a new posting with that plus sign over there. And I could do this as a demo blog. And I can go, hello peeps. Um, with Django, area comes with um, spell checks. So if I accidentally spelled this wrong, it would give me a nice little warning as well. And this is that view from the URLs, I'm making a new post. So I can hit save, and this is the detail view of it. I can go and edit it, which is this, now this is the edit view, and I'm gonna just put goodbye. Save, and then I'm gonna go back to my main list, and there it is, very cool. So that is um, my Jingle Girls 
um, blog posting by um, Django app. So Django is super easy to get started and I highly encourage you to play around with it and create your own application. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much. Bye.